While most of us were settling in for Christmas dinner, a group of Russian fishermen aboard this boat behind me were busy plying their trade in the frigid waters off the Atlantic coast. Why? Сейчас я не могу. Забери вот. Э, сейчас я занимаюсь иностранными гостями. Извини, пожалуйста. Хорошо? Окей, все, давай. Действуй. Давай. Well, we came from the Kalingrad region. It is here, between Poland and Lithuania, on the Baltic Sea. And now, like their Canadian counterparts, who make Nova Scotia their home port of call. The 24 crew members aboard this ship brave whatever the Atlantic can dish out to make a living. These men, however, can be away from home for up to six months at a time. For Andre, who has gradually worked his way up to first mate, this is his third trip to Canada, and one of many away from his family. The days can be long and boring for these men. My daughter, she's three and a half, yes. Elizabeth. His name is Elizabeth. This is my wife. This is my mother-in-law. This is my daughter. She's, I think, three. Yes, yeah. Two candles. Three. Around two, three. Three candles. My, my son, but now he's uh, 13. 13 years old. But it's what uh, I think it's 1994 in Sochi. It's a Russian resolved place. Is situated on the Black Sea. Mm -hmm. Russia is a big country. Yeah. Siberia or uh, the places where the palm trees. The days can be long and boring for these men, especially when in port, and news from home is scarce. So, besides doing their regular repairs and maintenance, they while away their time in anticipation of messages received by a shortwave radio. This is our radio room. It's my radio engineer. His name is Igor. Uh, today, uh, in Russia, was the uh, election. Yep. And he has some information from Russia, from this, this information of uh, end of election. And we expected a good result for democracy in the world. Yeah. I think so. I hope so. The vessel is extremely well equipped with some of the most sophisticated and modern equipment available today for navigation, fish location, as well as safety. And to help accommodate their long stays at sea, there is even a television and VCR on board. However, its inability to receive our North American signals means a total reliance on tapes, which must also be brought from home. This trip, the first of three out of Shelburne, was 40 days in length, with over half of that time spent enduring violent winds, bitter cold, and up to 70-foot seas. Nonetheless, it was a success. Nearly 200 tons of fish were caught, processed, and frozen on board for delivery to a Canadian buyer. The catch? 100% silver hake. This is an experimental fishery. The species involved is considered underutilized by Canadian fishermen, which has prompted disagreement between the two countries. There are few Canadian fishermen who would endure such a lengthy period away from home, and probably none who would accept the pay. At best, $250 per week. There are no fat draws upon docking for these boys, and the little they do get is soon chewed up on the necessities like toothpaste and shampoo. The local missions to seamen provides discount prepaid phone cards at $10 each. And with one of these, Andre and his crew can look forward to talking to family back home for about three minutes. Just long enough to say I miss you and I'm still alive. You know, we have a lot of volunteers. We have over 100 in our mission center. Uh, we've been organized since uh, November of 1997 and we've just opened our mission center in July and we have many volunteers who either ship visit or they uh, sit many, in the mission center. How many visit ships would you? Uh, we have about 50 who ship visit, men and women of all ages. It's good to see them back because they've had some pretty rough seas. I suppose so. This is all new people. Yeah. Just to tag along and 
as a volunteer. Makes me feel good. How do you like Canada? Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada? I think the Canada is the same uh, from Russia. Because uh, big territories, some other kind of peoples, other nations of peoples, uh, and... Well... And now, now it's the third time here. I like Canada, why not? It's very good country, I think. In Shelburne, Nova Scotia, I'm Rick Davis.